The new on-the-job training tool in iSpring Learn makes workplace training easier than ever. You can create observation checklists, schedule and conduct on-the-job training sessions, provide employee feedback, and monitor progress, all in one place. Let's see how it works. In the admin portal, you'll see a new section called on-the-job training. Here, you can schedule training sessions as well as view sessions that are in progress, upcoming, and completed. You can also see the details of each session and the scores of completed sessions. The first step in facilitating on-the-job training is to create an observation checklist. Let's create one together for a sales representative. First, you can add fields for the observer to fill out before the session, such as the training topic, location, customer, and the purpose of the observation. The next step is to add various performance metrics, which are specific criteria by which the employee will be evaluated. These are grouped together in sections called competency areas. If you've ever conducted on-the-job training, you probably already have a list of metrics. Simply copy and paste your metrics and click on Publish to enable the use of your checklist for observations. The same on-the-job training section appears in a supervisor's training portal. Now let's schedule a training session with an employee. First, we choose the participants, the observer who will conduct the training, and the employee who will be observed. Next, select the observation checklist to be used during the session. Finally, choose a time for the session. You can start a session right away or schedule it for later. Then click on Create Session. iSpring Learn will send a notification to both participants to let them know they are scheduled for a session. A supervisor can easily schedule a new OJT training not only on the web portal but also in their mobile app. In both places, they can choose the participants, select an observation checklist, and pick a date and time. Now that we've learned how to schedule an OJT session, let's take a look at how to conduct one. Before starting a session, you can look over the comments from completed ones with the same employee to get an idea of what to focus on and what kind of feedback might benefit them. When you're ready, click on Start Session and begin filling out the observation checklist. You can choose yes or no for each metric or leave comments if you wish. You can also skip certain metrics. At the end of the OJT session, there's a section that allows you to write detailed feedback for the employee. And when you are done, click on Finish Session. With the training completed, employees are then able to see their training results in the portal, including feedback from the observer and areas for improvement. Supervisors can also click on My Team, then Observation Checklists, to get an overview of their team's general performance. They can also see the individual results of any employee. There are many different ways to filter training results. Company-wide results are viewable on the admin portal's Reports page. Just click on Reports, then Observation Checklists, and you'll see comprehensive employee training results. You can also click on specific checklists for a detailed overview. It's also possible to compare the results of the supervisors of different departments. Click By Supervisor and you'll see a list of managers and how their team members perform. You can also see how the results of different departments compare. Go back to the previous page, select a checklist again, and click By Department. The report will show you which department is performing best. To see a list of the employees in a department and their individual scores, click on Employee Results. Sort by average score to see who is at the top of their game and who is underperforming. From there, we can click on each individual employee and see their personal profile page with detailed info on their performance. You can download this full report by clicking Export to XLSX Details in the top right corner. Viewing observation results in an XLSX file makes it easier to compare specific metrics or observation scores and read observer feedback. We're done! Now that you know how to conduct on-the-job training sessions with iSpring Learn, you're all set to incorporate them into your day-to-day -day work processes. Level up your workplace observations and elevate trainings with iSpring Learn.